Have you ever wondered how firefighters get water to upper floors in a high-rise fire? It's not just about long hoses, there's an entire system built into the buildings to make fire response faster and more effective. Today, we're breaking down the difference between dry riser and wet riser systems so you'll know exactly how they work and why they matter. Let's start with the basics. A riser system is a network of pipes installed in buildings to provide firefighters with easy access to water. These systems are critical in high-rise buildings where dragging heavy hoses up flights of stairs would be impractical. Now there are two main types, dry risers and wet risers. First up, dry risers. These are pipes that stay empty until they are needed. You'll typically find them in buildings that are under 50 feet or about 5 stories high. Here's how they work. When there's a fire, firefighters connect their hose to an inlet at ground level, and then they use high-pressure pumps from the fire engine to push water up the dry riser to where it's needed. Since the pipes are empty most of the time, they require regular maintenance to ensure there are no leaks or blockages when an emergency arises. Now let's talk about wet risers. Unlike dry risers, these pipes are constantly filled with water and are connected to a dedicated water supply. They are usually found in taller buildings, typically those over 50 feet, because when a fire breaks out on an upper floor, firefighters need instant access to water without waiting for a pump to fill the pipes. These systems rely on high-pressure water tanks or booster pumps to keep the water ready to go at all times. So what's the key difference? Dry risers stay empty until needed, requiring fire engines to pump water into them, while wet risers are always full and ready for immediate use. Each has its own advantages and is chosen based on the building's height, usage, and fire safety regulations. Now let's talk about why this matters. In an emergency, every second counts. A properly maintained riser system can mean the difference between a contained fire and a devastating disaster. That's why regular inspections and testing are crucial. Dry risers need to be checked to ensure they are clear and functional, while wet risers require pressure tests to confirm they are ready for action at any moment. Next time you walk past a building and see a small, locked panel labeled dry riser or wet riser, you'll know exactly what it means and why it's so important. Fire safety isn't just about having extinguishers and alarms, it's also about having the right infrastructure in place to support firefighters when they need it most. If you found this breakdown helpful, make sure to check out more of our fire safety content. Understanding these systems can save lives so let's stay informed and stay safe.